This video walks you through how to create a new student account with Edpuzzle to complete Edpuzzle video quizzes throughout the course of your semester. You'll want to first navigate to https colon forward slash forward slash edpuzzle.com as you can see in the URL bar. You'll then click on login and you'll want to create a student account so we're going to click on student and everyone is provided with a student Nash Community College Gmail account. That is the easiest way to create your Ed Puzzle account. So we're going to click on the Google red button and you will see a list of emails pop up or it may ask you to just sign in altogether if you have not previously logged in with your computer. So you'll want to type in your email username and password and it will grab all of the information that you have like your name, first and last, uh, password, um, everything that you need. So over to the left you will probably not have any courses in here so you'll want to click on join class. You'll want to locate the classroom code provided by your instructor and you'll want to type that in here. Now an alternative to this is your instructor may have provided you with a URL link uh, that you can type in and directly link you to the class. So either way you will be linked to the class. This way your instructor will be able to tell your progress when you complete a video and your grade so they can transfer it into your Moodle. It says, do you want to join this class? Make sure it is the correct one. Now again, do not use the classroom code provided in this video. Your instructor will provide you the correct one that you will need to use for your specific course. We're going to click on join. And all the videos will populate here and you will be able to see your progress for each. However, you will want to access your videos directly from your Moodle site. So when you go to the Moodle site, you will locate, let's say, one of your video quizzes. You'll click on the page, the link to the page. And if you have previously logged in to Ed Puzzle, it will display it there. And you'll click on Start Assignment. If not, it'll ask you to log in. That's okay. You can log in directly from here as well. Once you click on Start Assignment, you can play the video. And you see these uh, green question marks here. Those are questions that are embedded in the video. So you'll want to pay attention to what the presenter is saying or what the video topic is about because once it gets to one of the green question marks, it will pause the video and ask you a question. So you will need to respond based off the content the video has talked about. You can rewatch a section if you get a question wrong. You don't have to start over all the way from the beginning, but you will have to restart from the last question or a couple of seconds back. That concludes getting your Ed Puzzle account set up. Please contact your instructor if you have any further questions.